All right, I wanted to make a video on my uh, solar activities here. Um, it took me about two weeks to do the design. The build it took about a week. It's been installed for a couple of weeks now, and I haven't had to do anything to it. So it's probably a good time to do a little simple video. Obviously, I've got four panels here. The brains appears to be this little guy here, which is a little controller I bought, Greek controller. And it basically tracks the sun. The way I built it was I used a three and a half inch piece of electrical conduit and I welded a cross piece of three inch conduit, sorry, three and a half inch conduit. And in the middle of that, I have a three inch piece of conduit. This three inch conduit runs left to right about six feet. And the way I did it was I put rollers on the bottom of the three and a half inch pipe so that the three inch pipe would uh, be supporting it with these uh, bearings to make it easy to move and roll. The actuator is a simple linear actuator motor and it pushes on this camshaft that goes up and down. And by tilting that, it rotates the shaft which rotates and tilts the array vertically. Horizontally, I used to have the same arrangement, but I could only get uh, about 130 degrees of rotation. And with the sun, I needed over 200 degrees of rotation east to west because of the summertime. This is June. So I built myself a capstan approach where I wrapped a bunch of stainless steel around it and used a linear actuator in a rain shield to push back and forth a cable. And then the cable causes it to move. Uh, because it's Greek, I've gotten to call it Icarus. In any case, it works pretty neat. And it tracks the sun. Uh, the panels will tilt up and down depending on what you want to do. Um, let's see here. Uh, Pano. Okay, can't go any more up. Um, Kato. Okay, there we go. And so you can see the panels are going down. And uh, they'll go down to about oh, 75 degrees off a of vertical. And the way I'm doing that is I'm turning this actuator here, which will stop it automatically. And there we have it. It's uh, at full extension right there. And then we can go uh, left and right. Let's see here. Um, uh, Dikea. Dikea. Okay, here we go. You have to speak to it in the right tone, I guess. Has an attitude. Nastasi. Nastasi. Okay. So that'll go to the west. And if I want to go back to the east, Anatoly. Anatoly. There we go. Huh. What did that do? It just stopped. The controller just stopped. Interesting. Okay, maybe it's taking an attitude. So it'll go around to the east, and you can see it rotating here. You can see the cable turning. You can see the linear actuator moving. Nastasisi. And uh, there you have it. Um, so it'll go vertical, it'll go back and forth. It'll do most everything. This is the only thing that makes it easy. Track Sun. And you'll see it's turning itself around. And it's changing the elevation. The last command is the only one that makes sense. Track sun. So those are 420 watt panels for a total of 480. And uh, it'll just track the sun all day long. And what's really funny is it goes left to right. East is over there, so it'll go from there all the way around. About 220 degrees to the northwest. And uh, at nighttime, when it's facing west, after sundown, a 30 minute delay, it'll turn around and face back east waiting for the morning sun, which is really quite cool. 
and uh, it goes crazy when the sun goes out. When we're on a cloudy day, it'll start hunting all over the place and it'll align itself with the brightest uh, cloud. So, all this just to get a little more energy from the nearest star. Fusion power. Enjoy N4MQ.